My name is Ari Eldio. It means Eagle Fire Iron. It's a typical Icelandic name. We all have names that mean something in my country. My brother's name is Ulvur. It means wolf. My girlfriend's name is Linda. It means internet. We all have names that mean something in my country. <laughs> For those of you who don't know much about Iceland, um, I'll tell you some facts. There's 340,000 people who live in Iceland. That's it. That's the population. You know a country is small when you ask about the population? And you get a number that includes tens of thousands of people. Like, you can't even do like a rough estimate. Oh, 300,000? No, no, don't forget those 40,000. That's, that's one eleventh of the population. <laughs> Society would collapse without those 40,000 people. Our main exports are uh, fish and disappointment. We are a pretty uh, small economy. But we don't have strength in numbers, but we do have it in statistics. We say we're the best in the world per capita. <laughs> that is considering how few we are. We are the best per capita. This is like an economist's term. Children use it in Iceland. Like, we have the most cars in the world per capita. How old are you? Three? That's not very old. It is per capita. It, it's, it never stops. It's fantastic though, like, uh, before I became a comedian, uh, I used to be a flight attendant for Iceland Air, and that always got a laugh for some reason. People went like, oh, you're a flight attendant? <laughs> Why? Why? And I always had to explain, like, well, I like to travel and meet new people, and I always got like, yeah, sure. <laughs> What's your boyfriend's name, sir? <laughs> it's, it's always that same old stereotype that all male flight attendants must be gay. There's nothing wrong with being a gay flight attendant, but what a stereotype. There was a hundred of us boys working for Iceland Air, and two were not gay, so it's an absolute stereotype. <laughs> it's old-fashioned. And, and it was actually quite common to only have women flying the planes and only have men serving the food. This is the 21st century, after all, but a lot of the passengers are like elderly men from the 20th century, so it was a delight to work the trolley on those flights, just to see the elderly male reaction, like, Look, Gunnar, the captain himself is bringing coffee for us today. <laughs> Hang on, who is flying the plane then? There's, there's two of them. And then a woman would do the announcement, politely, professionally, like, ding. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Siri Reina Sutter. I'm your captain today. We'll be flying to London Heathrow in approximately three and a half hours. And these old men would be like, it's a woman, 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 it's a woman. It was like a musical number starting like, it's a woman, it's a woman, it's a woman. How could this happen? And they would ask, like, excuse me. Is it really a woman flying the plane? And it annoyed me so much that I always said, yes, and she's having her period. <laughs> you, you have a problem with that, scared old man? Like, is that allowed? Of course it's allowed, what's wrong with you? It's ridiculous. In fact, I trust a woman way better to fly a plane than a man. They seem to take it more seriously. I can understand everything they say during the announcement. I never understand the male pilots at Iceland Air, however. They all sound the same. It's finally over. People are like, what? What did he say? <laughs> it must be awful if you're afraid of flying. Ladies and gentlemen, these four minutes it felt like a massive solo show per capita. My name is Ari Eldjot. Amazing to be here. Thank you so much.